In the museum's chronological order, this is the first work of art where we find the patron. In an altarpiece made up of various panels that recount the fundamental episodes in the life of the holy figure. This type of work was common in the 14th century. Until then, holy images occupied mosaics in the domes or crucifixes above the high altar. Imposing and distant, they instilled respect and awe. Society changed between the 13th and 14th century. There no longer were feudal relationships between master and servant. The church also adapted to this change and promoted a more direct and colloquial exchange between sacred images and the faithful. This work by the Sienese artist Pietro Lorenzetti provides an outstanding example. At its center, we find an image of Saint Humility, a nun who lived shortly before the creation of the painting. The saint is portrayed larger than life, so that it is immediately clear what the painting is about. All around, a series of panels shows her occupied in various activities, while she performs a miracle. As she is praying, reading the gospel during a meal in the refectory, and so on. It is a sort of comic strip, allowing the faithful to familiarize themselves with the lives of saints. It was not necessary to know how to read. Anyone could approach and observe all the little stories and discover a little bit of his or her life in the painted scenes. The artist would in fact often paint contemporary settings, depicting the furniture, the clothing and the architecture of the time.
So we have reached the theme of this tour, the patron of the work of art. Someone superficially observing the painting might miss an important element. The small figure in prayer is kneeling at the feet of the saint. She is small, in fact quite tiny, if compared to the main figure, but well defined in her clothing and features. It is a nun of the same order as the saint, and although we do not know her name, but just her appearance, her role in the painting is clear. It is she, tiny in her humility, yet very present in the eyes of those who wish to notice her, who hired the artist and requested him to make the painting for her convent. It is thanks to this nun, the patroness, that we are able to admire this artwork and its donor centuries later.